Oh. Oh. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy you done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Yandam Tumkulu, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Yasuke episode Uno. Man, I'm mad excited. I'm mad excited. It's 30 minutes, Netflix. I was waiting for this to drop. It dropped. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm trying to binge it. It's just six episodes. So I'm going to try to run through them as fast as I can. Expect a reaction commentary of all six episodes. Probably dropping one episode daily. Let's not waste any more time. If you're watching this way later, I'm probably going to have a playlist for Yasuke Season 1. Let's dive right in. Ooh, they starting us with a whole war. Damn, they got mechanical machines. They mixing 2D and 3D animation. Damn. Yo, everybody got abilities for days in this. Yo. Damn, they so outmatched. You lost this one. That dude traveling with a whole castle. But are they taking the soul of the... Ooh, and it's powering up the army? Ooh. Nice way to pop up the title card. I see you. Ronin. They actually show more of this? So Yasuke was part of this? He was part of the main guard. Your master's drunk. Yo, his sensei sounds like uh, Aku. <laughs> preach, Yasuke, preach. Damn, he made him drink. This looks like a man who's given up. The artists of this show deserve a round of applause. I guess it makes sense why it's called Ronin. This is how he became a lost samurai. Just imagine having to kill your sensei. Yo, so he has nightmares about that occasion. Come on, Yasuke, clean up your place, man. 20 years later, goddamn. He's the man of the sea now. Fishing, transporting old folks. I'm just waiting for one person to call him a gaijin, man. <laughs> Sing! I have a weird feeling this kid is gonna die. Like, this scene alone is cute, but I have a weird feeling this kid is gonna die. This kid is gonna die. Damn, with a knife, dog. Ah, you dead. Oh. Oh. They let him go? I mean, yeah, he has to go tell Yasuke. Why is he lying? The soldiers are still on their way. The hell? The bullies. Oh, yeah, the voice actress for this sweet girl followed me on IG. After my reaction, that is. Great voice acting, though. Oh, she's ill. Ooh. She got abilities. So the mother was the singer. Damn, that's a tall motherfucker. Ooh, fuck the fucking Resident Evil tall woman. Look at this one. Is she, like, half lion? Damn, so they... Next. Normally terrorize this city. Next. And he lets them go. He's given up will to fight. To lay arms. Lakeith's voice fits this dude so well. The framing is so... Amazing. Damn. He ain't gonna help yet. It's a flashback. Grown ass man. Yes, get tripped out here, man. Look at the drip. He's unarmed, but he's about to whoop your ass. Ooh, B drop. Hit him with a two punch combo. That's not the type of person he is. He's not gonna kill you for stupidity. That's how they met. Wash him. 
in front of everybody the hell yo they've never met black person before they can't say his name <laughs> damn they bought his ass man shit i mean they became great friends but still the whole him being bought this little girl's the inciting incident that brings him back into the fighting fold i suppose another flashback people are watching and they haven't seen a black nigga before it's should have watched it in Japanese. <laughs> they said outside instead of Kaijin because it's dubbed. Or oh, so he bought him then made him a samurai. Clean slate. Because good men could do good things. What is happening? Did the water just become ice? Oh, assassins. There's two black men in Japan. Oh, the song choices, yo. Oh. Oh. Damn, sure. Ooh. They're going full out action scene wise. Damn, did he just summon like an ancient warrior? Oh, it needs focus. Oh, it's a bear. She's a bear. Oh, she can fight too? Oh my god, did it take a whole arm? Oh. Was it just a flesh wound? Damn. That's the end of the episode, y'all. No post cursing. So that was episode one. Pretty great, actually. Enjoyed it. Cried thoroughly. <laughs> my English right now, I don't know what's happening. Um. Uh. It was actually phenomenal. Like I said, with the trailers, the visuals are stunning. The action sequences really twisted up. The camera framing is very interesting with a lot of shots. Very good filmmakers in charge of this, directing-wise. Um, it's phenomenal. Yasuke is brought into this because of young gay, a young girl. What's her name? Suki? I really thought that dude, that little kid that emulated wanting to be a samurai is gonna die. He probably still might. He's too he's too much everywhere if you feel me. And he feels like the right catalyst to bring him into this, but they already gave him enough catalyst to bring him into this with this little girl protecting her. Plus her mom seems to be very injured right now. I don't know if she's gonna make it or not. So we'll see in the next episode. But Yasuke, that was Yasuke. How he became a ronin, how he became a fishing man, how he realized he was those two African dudes in it, in Japan and he spoke Japanese. He keeps jumping in from flashback to current moment within the series, which is great. Let's not waste any more time. I just dive right into the second episode. Make sure you go check out that reaction. Like if you like my reaction, subscribe if you're not subscribed, deuces.